just under two weeks out and time for another full day of eating. It really hasn't changed much, but you guys still like these. So I figured I would do it. My weight is under 250 right now, so we're in a good spot. I have to make 242 weigh in, and the weigh-ins are in the morning now, so I'm very comfortable. I'm gonna make weight, feeling good. So I've actually had a few high carb days recently. Nothing crazy, or right around 300 grams of carbs, just to like not allow my body to drop too fast and kind of consume itself, which is something I've never done in the past. So it's allowed me to be a little fuller, have better workouts right now, and hopefully just have a more like full dense look on stage. But regardless, I just finished 45 minutes of cardio. I'm still only doing 45 minutes of cardio in the morning, and then I do like a 20 or 30 minute light walk at night, mainly for digestion. And meal one, I eat right after, I don't even shower now because I'm so hungry. I'll wake up sometimes at 5 a.m. and my stomach just like grumbling and I'm fucking hungry. So breakfast it is, still making the pancakes. Have some random tricks I do in the last YouTube video I did someone told me to put the plate in the microwave before putting the pancakes on it because if then it's hot and the hot pancakes on it are the same temperature and it doesn't create condensation and make it like wet and it also keeps the pancakes actually warm so I put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds and when it gets closer I put it in for another 30 seconds and then I put it on a hot plate but anyways breakfast pancakes is down to one single whole egg so fats are getting pretty low now. Today's not a high day. I don't think at least unless honey changes randomly. But I do one whole egg and then I do 250 grams of egg whites, which is great because you get volume and little to no calories. Next, I got oats. 70, I don't remember where I was that last time, but my breakfast hasn't changed a lot. This is my like breaking my fast, obviously hence the fucking name. But I do 70 grams of oats. And in here, I add this fiber Courtney has, sun fiber, and it's kind of helped my digestion, and I think it adds a little bit to the fluffiness of the pancakes. I also threw in a group of GI from Revive. This stuff actually works very well. I was actually pretty shocked that my stomach was not, not doing bad, but my digestion wasn't great. And I put two scoops of this into my diet today, and I like went to the bathroom the next day way better, and my stomach has been feeling way better ever since. So super pumped for that. And then pumpkin, this is another secret of pancakes. I'm running kind of low here, but I do like 50 grams of pumpkin, and this just allows them to stay like moist and not get too dry. Man, yeah, time to explain this fucking pancake. And it's like purely fiber, there's like no calories in this shit, so it's a nice little additive. And the protein. The go protein for these maple waffle egg. This protein is like probably one of my favorite flavors in bread, and it works so good for pancakes because it gives you like a little bit of uh, flavor, like you have some maple in there. You might not get maple syrup, so I do scoop and like a quarter of that. Finally, the secret to it tasting really fucking good is that you get a shit ton of cinnamon. I used to put it in the pancakes, and now I literally just hit it, like, a lot. And then you have some beautiful cinnamon pancakes. And I put a little salt in, too. I'm down to the point now where Honey wants to start tracking how much sodium I'm eating in a day. So I literally have this fucking crack scale off Amazon, and I have to weigh my salt as if I'm, like, a drug dealer fucking pushing crystals on the street. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so that's it. And then I add three seconds worth of water. One. Three two, seconds. Three? Are we out of water? Almost. Use the other side. Now I have no idea how many seconds I put in. Oh shit. But yeah, that's my <laughs> breakfast. So I'm gonna blend the shit out of this. The pans are already on because they need to be hot when you put the pancakes on. Otherwise they get like too dry. I want them like hot. Flip them really quick, get them off really quick. And yeah, so I'm gonna cook these up, show you the final product, and I'll give you guys a calorie count. All right, we're on low battery, so I'm gonna do this quick. This is the final product. It looks like absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, all the crispy bits that kind of get stuck on the pan, I just scrape them off at the end. I'm putting them in the top, and they taste amazing. And it tastes really good, so I don't really care. But total calories for breakfast is 653 calories. So it's still a pretty hefty breakfast for prep. My biggest meal of the day by far. It's about 65 grams of protein. So beautiful way to break your fast and a lot of volume. I actually got a lot of pancakes out of this. You can see a pretty hefty amount in there. It's a little bit thinner than I normally do because I put a little bit more water because I lost my three second count. But you know, maybe it'll pay off to my benefit and I'll feel like I'm eating more. But yeah, that's breakfast. So thank you guys for sharing food. I'm gonna eat. 
watch some Jujutsu Kaisen, and see you for meal two. Alright, so meal numero dos. I typically take this with breakfast, but I didn't today. So I take one of these every day. There's some digestive enzymes and some stuff to help digest carbs, insulin sensitivity and whatnot. It's kind of mild to only take one a day. I'm not eating a lot of carbs right now, so that's it. I also take zinc carnosine and this gut health from Revive as well. I've been obsessing over digestion this year and it's been helping because it helps me so much getting through prep, not having like horrible gas. It helps Courtney sleep at night too. I'm not shitting my pants and gas chambering the entire room. So I'm a lot better this year. My stomach feels a lot better. My stomach is flatter. Maybe I'll have a smaller waist, you never know. But the zinc carnosine also helps me with um, acid reflux. It helps your gut lining. And I get really bad acid reflux when I get really low calorie. So check it out. But on to meal number two. This is 180 grams of white rice, 220 grams of fresh Atlantic cod, and some asparagus. I up my protein from all my meals from 200 fish typically and 180 grams of chicken weight not protein now i've upped them each 20 grams just because honey was like you know what your weight's coming down let's put in a little more calories and make it more protein you can handle more protein because it's not that high so this is like the highest my protein's ever been and honestly kind of nice so hopefully it pays off in the end and it helps me stay full a little bit longer but this in my pre-workout meal i'm gonna put this down and give you guys the calories it's 425 calories about 43 grams of protein so simple like easy pre-workout. I'm gonna go hit some hamstrings after this and see you guys for meal number shake. What? I was gonna say meal number three but the protein shake. Oh. Welcome back to the world's most boring full day of eating ever. I had a, a shake after the workout when I was driving home quick, just two scoops of protein and another scoop of fiber. I used to always make a creamy at the beginning of prep and in previous preps I used to blend in my Nutribullet like as much ice and water and protein as I could and it would like fluff up and I'd drink and get super bloated and make me full and kind of curl my appetite a little bit. But it was kind of fucking up my digestion being that like bloated and I didn't like the concept this year of my waist feeling like full. I'm really trying to like vacuum a lot, train my abs and to shrink my waist this year. It's been one of my huge goals. So I haven't been doing that. I just had I either make a paste where I put a little bit of water and I mix up the protein or today I just mix it with like eight ounces and drink it like a normal human being. So I had that and then we came home and I threw together a nice little chicken, rice and asparagus. Probably the most staple prep meal that you could imagine. It's 200 grams of chicken breast again used to be 180 up to 200 a random amount of asparagus i never do too much and then 150 grams of white rice and some pink himalayan salt i'm gonna throw in a little bit of honey mustard on this one this is the goat honey mustard from whole foods it's also the lowest calorie it's only five calories so i eat a little bit without it add a little bit on at the end so i'm only getting like 10 15 calories of honey mustard and yeah that's about it meal number four and then the beautiful thing about training at one o'clock is I train for like three hours, have a shake, eat this at like 4.30, and then for the rest of the day, I get to eat every like two hours, hour and a half, and then the day's over. So it's just an easy way for me to like manage my meals and not feel too hungry throughout the day. So I'm gonna eat this and enjoy, and see you guys for meal number four. to the very exciting meal number four, fish and rice. This time, 
I uh, stir fried it up with a little bit of coconut aminos, the best seasoning ever. And then I put a little bit of lemon on it. Lemon on fish and prep is beautiful. I always get seeds in here and they're being seeds too. And then I salt the shit of it and I also added some zucchini in there. The zucchini is probably like the easiest digestible, lowest calorie vegetable. Getting lots of seeds in here, but it also tastes great. So dumping this in here and enjoying some fish and rice and I'm trying to get seeds out of here with my finger. Me and Courtney were talking about like how crazy you go in prep and the little things that like are just so like redundant that make you want just like anything. Like I, she, we, me and Courtney love to snack. She has a bag of chips, she brings it. She'll have like it, it'll last her like a month or a day depending on the season burn. And then you snack and I just looked at her and I was like, what I would do right now just to have like three chips, you know, just like a little bit of a snack, something a little bit extra and a little bit of fat in my diet, anything. She had a chicken sausage for breakfast and I was like, that looks like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Just like a little bit of grease soaking out of it and it looked absolutely amazing. The only fat I have in a day right now is sometimes I get sick salmon, which I'm lucky I get it tonight, and then one whole egg in the morning, so I just like crave that. And I just want to snack, because I'm sick of eating rice stir fries with a fork. I just want some with my hands, like a sandwich. But yeah, that's life. You know, it is what it is. So, only a couple more days of this, not even weeks left, so getting down to it. But I'm gonna enjoy this meal. This is a low calorie one. This one's only 386 calories, 45 grams of protein says this. I don't know how accurate this is, but you guys like to know macros, so I throw it in there. Typically don't go by this, I just know what I eat every day, the same foods every day, and I reduce by such. So yeah, that's what's going on. See you for meal number five. It's even more boring than this, so get ready. <laughs> of chicken breast and asparagus. So, very delicious. This is approximately 240 calories for a meal. So, that's when it gets a little bit sad. But I got my asparagus and freshly cooked chicken to enjoy a little bit more. I used to have fish in this meal, but fish on its own is just not as good. So I put fish in my rice now and I have chicken with vegetables. Yeah, I don't really know what the fuck else I can say about eating asparagus and chicken other than time to get shredded. So, gonna eat this, kill a little bit more time, eat another small meal, and we'll wrap it up for the final meal of the day in a bit. <sighs> All right, so here we are, about 9.45 p.m., about to eat my last meal. And as I said, they get less and less exciting as the day goes on, but this one's actually really good because, I, like I said, I've been like craving fats. Your salmon juice. So good when you're starving. I love salmon. Salmon covered in salt with like fresh jasmine rice. Nothing on it. Absolutely one of my favorite meals. But this is the last meal of the day. It is just 200 grams of salmon. I have veggies and shit with it, but I have veggies all day, so I don't have my night. Let's just eat this and then I go right to bed afterwards. So we're gonna wrap it up here. And the total calorie count, again, I don't know how accurate this shit ever is, but you guys always wanna know. 2,689 calories, so still right around 2,700 calories, 200 grams of carbs, 199, 42 grams of fat, and 351 grams of protein. My protein's a little bit higher from the last time I did this, carbs are a little bit lower, and that's just kind of something we swapped up here at the end. And this is the first prep where I am ever eating over 2,500, probably over 2,000 calories at the end of prep. So for whatever reason, decent off season, just good sleep, good rest, less stress, because it was such a brutal beginning of this prep that I like locked in everything at the end. My body just like came back to life. My thyroid's working, my metabolism's working. I don't really know, but I'm just counting my lucky stars because I'm grateful that I'm able to eat more than I've really ever eaten in the past. You guys see, it's almost like a rite of passage in my suffering at the end of some preps, where I'm eating like 1,500 calories doing two hours of cardio. Here I am doing like 45 minutes and eating 2,700 calories. So 
super grateful for that, just enjoying that. But we are getting close and I still have to make a little bit of weight that I gotta cut off. So we're gonna start suffering probably a little bit more, but only for like five or six days, and that's too bad, and then the carb load will begin. So that's gonna be it for today's full day beating. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna enjoy my salmon, I'm gonna go to bed, and I will see you guys for a exciting video on Friday. I'm gonna be training with a, an old pal of mine. So, see you guys there.